right now we have a global reset we're in the midst of a recession and a lot of people are hurting many many people feel that they have an income problem i don't make enough money i don't um have enough money for the month gas prices are high food prices are high and i'm just suffering all right i want to actually tell you what the real problem is the real problem is you do not have an income problem you have a skill set problem and this is the subtle nuance that you should understand what you're dealing with because i'm about to tell you a story of someone I know, personally know, who's in college at Georgia Tech and he graduates next year. And he's gonna graduate Georgia Tech and roll into a job paying 150,000 to 200,000. That's what he's expecting. He's being recruited by Apple, he's being recruited by Google, he's 100, and this is, he's gonna be probably 22, rolling into a $150,000 to $200,000 a year job. Now, what's the difference between you and this young man? There's still a recession, still a global reset. Why is this young man going to roll into those type of income opportunities and you're not? Two words, skill sets. He's going to graduate with an advanced degree in computer science with a minor in cybersecurity. So in the midst of a global reset, in the midst of a recession, he is going to roll out of college into a very high paying job, very high paying job. And here's the problem. Um, one of the things that you don't understand is you need to have currently in demand skill sets and like one of the things i see here on youtube that is very popular is doordash google it doordash the doordash diaries uh, bentley coop nugs and uh, morris finance all of these guys put out a lot of doordash content and here's the problem with doordash if you need some money right now DoorDash is pretty good, but what is the end game of DoorDash? What is the end game of DoorDash? Are you gonna be doing DoorDash five years in the future? Remember the guy I just told you about that's graduating for Georgia Tech? Five years after he graduates, he should be earning two hundred and fifty to $400,000 a year. So when you get the right skill sets, the right skill sets, and you embark upon a career, there's upward mobility, okay? And this is one of the biggest problems I see on YouTube. Everyone is trying to, quote, secure the bag, unquote. And this is some of the most um, dangerous way of thinking because the assumption is you're going to do something small, not that hard, something insignificant, and you're going to get a bunch of money. The reality of that is it's not going to happen. Could you win the lottery? Yes, it's possible. Could you buy a coin and cryptocurrency and it goes to the moon? Yes, it's possible. But the likelihood is it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen to the average person. So we have a bunch of people who are predicated on this secure the bag mentality without any long-term game plans. No long-term game plans whatsoever. None whatsoever. So I want you to understand. What I'm doing in the intellectual property school, and let me break it down for you. If you can learn how to create video very well, that's a in-demand skill set. If 
you can learn how to edit videos very well. That's an in-demand skill set. If you become really good at creating video topics, that's an in-demand skill set. If you become really good at making viral videos, that's an in-demand skill set. So what you're going to learn in the intellectual property school, and I want you to go back to the Great Depression. During the Great Depression, Pope fiction writers who were selling Pope fiction books for a nickel apiece became millionaires. So the entertainment business is not going nowhere. So you, you've got, you can become very entertaining. You become very engaging. So what you're going to learn in the intellectual property school is a bunch of in demand skill sets because you think the internet's going anywhere. You think the internet's going to disappear next year. What's going to happen is the internet is going to keep growing and morphing and changing. I think that we're at web point 3.0 web 1.0 was back during the um, beginning when all these multi-billion dollar companies were existed and people were buying the stocks and going crazy. That was web 1.0. Now I figure we're at web 3.0 and what you're going to see because I'm already starting to see this is a shift towards video. What happens with YouTube is every few years, YouTube changes. What worked two, three years ago doesn't work two or three years in the future. So one of the things that you have to learn is how to stay current, how to stay on top, how to stay relevant with video, video. Audio podcasting is another in demand skill set. Writing books, writing books. Remember, I just told you that in the 1920s, pulp fiction writers became millionaires writing books. So you're going to learn how to set up video. And more importantly, you're going to learn how to correctly set up your YouTube channel. And I would estimate that 95% of YouTubers, there's a YouTuber by the name of Andre Jack. And based upon his content, his video channel isn't set up correctly. I know this because my video channels are set up correctly. This man makes seven figures a year in his YouTube channel because he said some stuff that just let me know that he's one paying too much in taxes Two, he hasn't properly set up his YouTube channel and three there there's, there's so much he doesn't know. There's so much he doesn't know. So I'm going to teach you and I want you to understand you don't have to have any experience doing this. I'm going to hold your little hand and I'm going to walk you through the process. I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a YouTube channel structure. And that's one part. That's just one part of it because how you set up your YouTube channel is part one. And then part how to set up your YouTube channel to make money is part two. There's two different things. It's two different um, lines of thought, so to speak. So we're going to get into that. And then I'm going to teach you how to create online courses that sell. Now I have, I'm a member of the think of fifth group. I'm a member of the teachable group and every day there are course creators in there who are struggling. They're struggling to sell their online course because they don't understand the sequence. You've got to have a sequence before you sell an online course. You could be, the best teacher on the internet in your particular niche. You could put out an awesome course, but if you do not know this sequence and how to deploy this sequence, you will fail. I see it every day. Uh, many of the moist, weak men is like, well, perhaps I should get into making online courses as if it is easy. And I always say to these moist, weak men, please go ahead. 
go ahead, please pull out a course and let me know when you do. Because see, here's the issue with that. There are many people who feel that just simply creating an online course, you can make a lot of money. Without this sequence, <laughs> you will make no money, no money whatsoever. So I'm going to teach you the sequence. Now, I make a lot of money with online courses and I do not run ads. There are no ads anywhere on the internet. So my profit margin is extremely high because I don't run ads. In the future, I will start running ads. And once again, I will teach you that whole sequence because what you want to do is deploy the sequence, learn how to sell online courses without ads. And then once you figure that out, then this will make it much, much better once you start to run ads. I mean, it's like night and day, night and day, because there are certain things, because there are some people on YouTube will tell you, just run ads. There's once again, there's a sequence that you must follow. There's step one, there's step two, there's step three, there's step four. And if you go from step one to step four, guess what's going to happen? You're going to fail because running ads is part art and it's very science. It's a mixture of art and science. And I'm going to teach you how to do this because I remember one year I was running ads. I was spending about 40,000 a month running ads. And one of the things I did is I did what was called what I call the shotgun method. I did not have a specific targeting. Didn't do that. But because I would spend this 40, I would make about 100, 120 doing what I do. And I will talk about exactly what I was doing and why you don't want to do that because or, you know, if you got the budget, you could do it and you'll probably get similar results because it's all about traffic. But what I want you guys to understand is when you enroll into intellectual property school, you're going to learn valuable, marketable skill sets that are in demand today and that will be in demand in the future. So you could create yourself a career because one of the things I have noticed years and years ago, I went to, I started going to vid summit around the fourth vid summit because they had two or three summits and it was really small and everybody was there. Uh, Tim Schmoyer, uh, Amy Schulemeyer, who's Amy Lando, you know, a lot of people who've been online for a long time and been making money. During the early days of Vid Summit, I went to Vid Summit four, five, six, and seven, I believe. And I saw and got to meet these people. And this is something I've noticed. All of these people who were at the early Vid Summit are still online and they're still making money. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. So what I'm trying to tell you is if you could develop these new skill sets, you can position yourself to make money for the rest of your life. I really want you to think about that. You can position yourself to make money for the rest of your life. Because, you know, a lot of people are sleeping on the intellectual property school because they're um, just not really paying attention. Because once again, this secure the bag mentality is short term thinking. And I can never think of a situation where short term thinking actually wins big. I, I cannot think of a situation. So if you go ahead and enroll in the intellectual property school, once again today, what you're going to get is home economics. Let me explain why you're getting home economics. Why are you getting home economics is everyone needs to reformat their financial education. When I was in the storage trucking business, I would get storage units of these business owners and I, their, all their records would be in there and I would see how much money they were making. And these people would blow through their money because they had bad money habits. So one of the reasons that I include home economics in the curriculum is so you can go ahead and get your finances in order before you start making money. So that's what's one of the things that's going in there. 
and then there is creating an offer and there's so much more and also there's a group there's called a group called organic money and we're getting ready to do some challenges because you know there, there's like when we get to the how to create an online course i have so much information to give you guys that it's going to be relevant and timely but i want you guys to be positioned to win not just for today but for tomorrow next year, the year after, the year after. I want to set you up where you're winning for the rest of your life because that's the power of intellectual property. Intellectual property can literally change your life. And I've had a book. That book changed my life. This YouTube channel has changed my life. And the podcast is relatively new. And once again, I'm going to teach you how to strategically think like, like, like I said, everyone has this secure the bag mentality, right? I am thinking that my podcast is really going to start cooking. My podcast is one month old. So five months from now, five months in the future is when I really expect my podcast to take off five months in the future. So this whole secure the bag mentality is crippling your success because you're looking for instantaneous success versus putting together a long-term game plan and winning over time. That's what's killing you. Because like I said, if you think you have an income problem, you do not have an income problem. You have a skill set problem. During this global reset, during this um, recession, you're going to have people who are going to make millions. You're going to have people who are going to make billions. So there is no lack of money. It's a lack of skill sets. If you were to go to Indeed and go into the computer section, you will see all types of, all types of jobs wide open. And they don't have enough people with the skill sets to do these jobs. And these jobs are paying 150, 250, $350,000, $500,000 a year. They don't have the people with the skill sets. And once you enroll in the intellectual property school, the link will be in the first comment and in the description. And there's a promo code. Today is July 25th. This promo code disappears on the 31st of July. So you have six days to get into the intellectual property school right now you have six days to go ahead and get in the intellectual property school and what's going to happen if you apply yourself and if you work hard magic in your life is going to happen magic so go ahead go below and enroll in the intellectual property school today because once again there's so much you have to do and this is a college level curriculum because it's not just like one course, it's a bunch of courses, it's a bunch of things, and there's gonna be more things like everyone who goes ahead and gets into the intellectual property school today, there's gonna be some future stuff that's gonna come toward the end of the year. You'll be able to get that at a massive discount if you go ahead and get in the intellectual property school today. So hit that, go ahead, hit those links, enroll a day, and then uh, you will be uh, added to the, the group. And let's talk about the group. I, I hate Facebook groups. Facebook groups, because here's the thing. You're in a Facebook group and you've got all this stuff on the feed. You're, there's so many distractions, right? So uh, Sam Ovens put out a group, uh, a group tool called School, which I very much like. And one of the things is it's just... There's no distractions. You don't have to join Facebook. So that's where we're going to have all of our school activities, our group activities. Currently, we have a challenge. I need to go in there and address that. So there's a lot of things to do. So don't wait until <laughs> the 31st to jump in because home economics is going to take you a few weeks just to get through that. And that's the first course. And then another course how to create an offer, it's gonna take you a few weeks to get through that because what I'm gonna teach you is how to do this in a proper sequence. Because you know you have people every day who just um, pick up a camera 
and you know they start filming and start creating YouTube videos and it goes nowhere because there's no sequence there's no structure there's they're, they're, they just winging it and some of these people win some of these people create a YouTube channel they have the right personality and they just win and that's what everyone is looking at like literally 1% of YouTube makes 99% of the YouTube money 1% so that means that the majority of YouTube creators are not making nothing or just chump change. Literally 1%. And once again, and I will share some with you. I'm in that 1%. Last month, my YouTube channels made me 9,500 bucks. That put me in the 1%, which tells you that the average YouTube creator is not making a lot of money. Just simply isn't. And I'm going to teach you how to make money from your YouTube channel by following this sequence. So go below, enroll in the Intellectual Property School today. Don't wait till the 31st. Go ahead and enroll today.